going on guys um it's here time i've been waiting on turkey season 2024 is officially here today was the opening day in mississippi and as you can see behind me got a borrowed a camper from a family friend um i can't really afford one of those right now but nonetheless um we're headed to mississippi now to some public ground uh took off work monday and tuesday and today is friday so we get to hunt four days and uh see what we can do up there so looking forward to it um i think the drive's about three hours or so so we're gonna see what uh we're gonna put rubber to the road and see what we can make happen hopefully uh we can get a bird or two Well guys, just got down here, got camp set up, so y'all show y'all the setup. There she is, got a little power, nothing but a little bed in there. Got her all hooked up, ready to go. Now, just gotta head to Walmart or somewhere. Get a few necessities, um, stuff to make some ham sandwiches, some waters, soap, toothpaste, and we'll get after them in the morning. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be in the thick of them. We'll see. Good morning, guys. Oh, these allergies are bad, but anyways start of the 24th season it is March 16th we are in Mississippi I'm gonna go to this spot I found on Onyx looks pretty good uh, I'm just gonna park my truck on this road and listen try to put ears on one this morning and hopefully kick off the season with a bang so we'll see what happens see what we can do but um I'm just really thankful that the Lord blessed me with another spring uh, bless me with the opportunity to be able to do this. Um, can't thank him enough. Something special about it. So, anyways, let's see if we can get on one. Well, already a little bit of a hiccup. Get down to my first spot. I mean, I figured I got down there early enough. It's about hour and a half at least before they start gobbling get down there and I mean it's in the middle of nowhere I get down there and there's a truck there right around the corner so long story short we ended up backing out of there got this little secondary spot I found on the map there's a on the right side of this road there's a lake a big drainage comes off the back of the lake and on this other side there's a little creek bed that runs um, off the back of a big crop field so we're going to park the truck right here and here in a few minutes we're going to get up probably on the toolbox and just listen see if we can put our ears on one so hopefully we'll be hearing one fire off here shortly I wasn't even sure if it was a bird 
All right, guys, as you can tell, I forgot to um, cut my external mic back on when I cut the camera back on and didn't realize I'd cut it off until after I'd shot the turkey. So this is me making a move on them. Kind of, they went to kind of swing on me a little bit. So I went to set up a little more to my right, a little higher on this knoll. And as you can see, I go to make another move as they go to swing even farther right. And um, they're still down this bottom gobbling their brains out. I really hate I didn't get that on the audio because it sounded pretty it's probably one of the best um, sounds you'll ever hear in the woods as most of y'all know but anyways i finally move up this knoll a little bit more um a little higher spot and kind of in the area they were swinging towards and end up finally finding the tree that i was going to end up killing him on as you'll see right here i end up sitting up against that big pine tree and now i'm going to cut to the clip where i end up shooting him and as you can see Right here, the turkey's head comes up just above that knoll, and then um, I go to swing on him. When I see him come up over that knoll, you'll see my gun barrel swing here in a second, and I shoot him right there. And I um, hate I didn't get this audio, but anyways, I run up there. I'm ecstatic, and um, go up there to get him, get my hands on him. And uh, I mean, he barely flopped any until I picked him up. He didn't flop at all. But anyways, this is me picking him up, and um, you'll see me, I'm coming back towards the camera, and um, I just made a rookie mistake, that's all it is, and I apologize for that, I'll try to do better about that in the future, but anyways, as you can see, dead bird, good outcome, nonetheless, um, regardless of our audio mistakes, um, I was happy with at least getting it on film, would have loved to got the audio, but it is what it is, but anyways... I'll let y'all enjoy the rest of the video when I finally realize the mistake I made and the audio kicks back in. I hate the mic was off. We got him. Came in here this morning. Heard these birds about. 900 yards, bro. Heard these birds about 900 yards away. I came up the road and uh, I heard them. I got closer, and it's so thick between here and the road. I mean thick as hell and uh anyways so i finally get through all them briars and uh finally get through all them briars and um get up to this high ridge i was actually set up right over there the first time and i was in between them i guess it was this one i thought it was two but i guess it was just this one and one back here and i actually ended up flushing him hey, he's still gobbling back over there but anyways came here going this high ridge well he started he's circling that way and I was this bird started getting closer so I kind of swinged well he caught me well this bird swung back around so I got right over here on this side where it's open up here and he worked his way up and right right through there I hope I got it on video popped his head up and he looking around you could tell he he didn't see nothing he was fixing a wig out so anyways we got it done baby thank you jesus i'm gonna sit here and enjoy this for a second make a few phone calls and we'll get out of here we'll track back in on the way out well boys this guy i met when I got to camp yesterday, ended up calling me. Said, uh, "Said you with your truck?" I said, "No, but you can come pick me up." So, <laughs> this is Tanner Collins. Nice. Yep. From Tanner. Kentucky and two dead birds. Two dead birds, boy. Kentucky, Alabama. We awesome killers, baby. So we're gonna head back to camp, get them cleaned out, maybe take a couple pictures, and uh, we'll check back in at camp. Well, boys. 
Well, yeah. Having a little break, a little lunch break. Just ate a, just ate a PB and J or two. Got a fan and spurs and beard off of him. So uh, we're gonna just hang out the rest of the day and maybe go try to roost one this evening. But anyways. Hell of a morning. All right, y'all. We uh, we're back at it. It's about uh, four o'clock. Took a nice, real nice nap. That's the uh, privileges of killing one early in the morning. But anyways, we're gonna do a little riding around and see what we see, hear what we hear. Uh, my my buddy Tanner called me. The guy that I met here that also killed one this morning said he saw some long beards out in a. Uh, out in someone's backyard so um, they dropped me a pen so I'm gonna go over there if they still out there I might go knock on uh, knock on their door see if I can get a little permission but for me and Tanner of course not just me but he said there's four of them so might uh might go over there and see what it's talking about we'll see but anyways we're gonna ride around a little scouting, maybe even put one to bed this evening. So, check back in with y'all. We're rolling up on them, well, where they're supposed to be. Can be. Well, they out there, boy. I don't know if, uh, Looked on Onyx, and the person that owns that field is not the person that uh, owns that house. So, might still go up there and ask them, but we'll see. See if I can get a game plan together. Right, probably, probably a bust, but at least you know there's birds in that area. There's pole land nearby, it, but I don't think close enough. So, we'll see. I just like looking. Well. I guess these boys know how to find a bird. Tanner told me about him. Came over here and looked at him, but said the uh, some dude came up to him like, ah, it's my uncle's property right there, boy. It's private. But um, he said, but hell, he might let you hunt. But so probably a bust. So we're gonna keep looking. Tanner's gonna keep looking. Yeah. Maybe uh maybe we'll turn up or something, who knows? Alright guys. <clears throat> Dumped off in this piece of public. As you can see, I don't have a gun with me because in Mississippi it's one per day, but three per season, so we can't get after one till tomorrow, so I'll show you what. Paper, it looks good. It's got fresh burn, got big fields, river. I'll be some birds in here, but I'm gonna ease up. Ease up this line here and look out in this private field and see if I can see any birds and maybe see where they're going to roost. Maybe they're coming back over here to roost and um, maybe get a game plan for in the morning. Little 
edge. There's a big drainage on this side. That big main drainage, and then it's got a bunch of bunch of branches off that main drain, right over that little knoll, and then um, right over there on the other side of the road, there's a, the end of a big drainage that comes out towards this road. So. I just got up on this high point, getting about time for him to fly up. So if I can put one to sleep, tuck one in. guys give you a little update um, never heard of that bird again but I did hear some turkeys fly up and so I was probably coming back to that spot in the morning but then I had a guy come driving by and he, from Arkansas him and his boy and he got to talking to me and he uh, asked me if I had any luck you know just uh, shooting the breeze and um, told me there was a guy right up the knoll from me that you know I hadn't been up there I parked my truck and after he told me that and left I went up there to talk to him and asked him and he had heard the same bird and he he was like yeah I was second guessing myself too but uh, and I asked him if he was going in there in the morning and he said yeah he said I'm sleeping here tonight so I said all right well, he was from Tennessee very nice guy and uh I said, all right, well, good luck to you in the morning. I said, this year's, I'll go find another spot. He's like, man, I really appreciate that. He said, uh, it's real nice of you, but uh, I think it should always be like that. You should always try to be courteous to others. He's sleeping there tonight, and I'm not, so I um, hope he gets him in the morning. His name was Rance. I told him about the channel. So, Rance, if you're, uh, if you're watching it, Hope you killed him, brother. But anyways, we headed back to camp. Now gonna uh, gonna shut it down for the night. So uh, I'm gonna go back and make a ham sandwich and uh, get in bed. So I'm gonna uh, check back in with y'all in the morning. Hopefully we can put our ears on one. <laughs> 